Hey yo, what's good? It's Dino here, and we're back with another video full of crazy clips from all over the world. You know what it is. I hope everybody's doing well. Let's hop right into it. if you can't hear what I'm saying. Um, I couldn't even hear myself. This is the loudest sound you could possibly conceive. And, as it turns out, the cleanest. Now, the most amazing thing is that that cloud up there, which was generated by the engine, is just a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. It's water vapour. And in about an hour's time, someone in Mississippi is going to get wet washing. It will actually rain. I told you. It's raining. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh. NASA's playing God! Yeah, man, I don't know how I feel about that. That's a little bit too much. Injecting clouds to make it rain. That's a little bit too much. So, there's 12 dimensions, right? We live in the third one. And then, they say aliens, they have the technology Multi or whatever, they can, they can, they can live multi-dimensional. And that's why they think that aliens are a billion light years away in a different universe somewhere yeah. we can't even conceptualize. Uh -huh. But since they have the either the technology or they're just fucking built different type shit, they have the like the they have the means to go from one universe to another using those those dimensional like that we dimensional need to technology. finesse that shit. Yeah. Yeah, using technology that allows them to alter the fabric of gravity and time and space. That's pretty cool, though. Like, uh, science fiction sounding stuff. That is that there are an enormous number, mind-bogglingly large number, of parallel realities as made, but different decisions were made along the way. Different decisions at the level of tiny microscopic particles, different decisions all the way up to what you just chose to eat for lunch, and whether you chose to come to the session or not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about the Mandela effect. I mean, there's a lot of things that, like, look like they would be one, but it's usually... It all comes down to, like, miscommunication and misremembering and then, like, sharing. It's like, uh, he said, she said, where you, like, whisper and pass it down the line kind of deal. Did you know that one in four cowboys was black? In fact, the Wild West was much more diverse than Hollywood would have you believe, so let's talk about it. First things first, the original cowboys were called vaqueros in then Spanish Mexico. You see, the cowboy lifestyle came to be in Texas, which at the time was Mexican territory, and although the Mexican government opposed slavery, Americans still brought enslaved people with them to the West, and from there, set up cattle ranches. These enslaved folks ended up accounting for over 30% of the Texas settler population and were dependent on for maintaining land and cattle herds. So, after the Civil War, freed black cowhands were widely sought after because of their skills and actually vastly contributed to the development of the cattle industry. Ironically, even the term cowboy has a connection to formerly enslaved black cowhands who were derogatorily named by their enslavers. So it makes it even more bizarre that we all know the stories of Billy the Kid or Jesse James, but not Nat Love or Bill Pickett. Vaqueros, Native Americans, and African Americans all contributed to the development of the American West, and the fact that that has been stripped from history is quite jarring, so perhaps it's time we put it back in the limelight. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff that you don't learn at school, but like... You gotta blame yourself when you don't go and look to try and find more history than what the education system presents to you. I mean, it's your fault if you don't go look deeper for yourself. Boy, <laughs> did you look at this? Prop 65. Chemicals including acrylamide. Anybody know what acrylamide is? Acrylamide is a natural chemical that's found in starchy foods so like bread potatoes when you cook it flash cook it above 120 degrees that forms acrylamide acrylamide what is it known for known carcinogen dna damage 
C-reactive protein elevation, all different forms of inflammation markers spike when you ingest acrylamide, which is one of the main cancer-causing chemicals in the modern world. So anyone that's eating french fries, anything that's been fried immediately or processed like any of this crap right here has acrylamide, stay very, very clear of this chemical. Mm -hmm. It's very bad for you. I, I, I ain't gonna lie though, I love some fried food. Like I love it, dude. Fried food, fried chicken and bacon. Oh man. some sort of bees or something because like, it didn't look like it would be anything else i don't know it's pretty weird i want a big caddy that i can ride around on that would be awesome to have a lion <laughs> The entire Earth is moving into another dimension. We're living in very exciting times right now. And things that have never happened in the history of the universe are happening right now. Vibrations and frequencies of the whole Earth are changing to mm -hmm. what's called the new Earth. And this is in the Bible, too, in the book of Revelation, when they talk about the new heaven and the new Earth. You're going through a lot of things to see. main thing is getting rid of the karma. You're being... You're going through a testing time. Do you want to stay with the old earth? Do you want to stay on the wheel of karma? Or do you want to move on where there is no karma in the new earth? And mm -hmm. many, many people are moving there. They're moving into it right now. But in order to move, our vibrations and frequencies of our own bodies have to change to match that of the earth as it moves. See, the earth is a living being. The earth is definitely a living being. Why do you think that everything on the earth is living and it uses the earth to live it's because the earth itself is living you guys hearing that sounds like dogs chase something down through the creek So a, a mountain lion or something? Right, right there. Yeah, this is probably a mountain lion, man. This next clip is in reference to cloning, but what he says explains how conscious transfer or soul transferring is possible. Watch to the end and let me know what you guys think. Well, if you go to the hospital today and get an encephalogram, what's that? That's the memory of your conscious mind. It's on the CD that's downloaded on this being. Now we got a walking, talking duplicate that has the total memory that you have because we just took it off of your own mind okay it's like blade runner the android exactly yeah i believe that i'm pretty sure we have the technology to clone a human consciousness well an artificial human consciousness this is one of the most important historic buildings you've never heard of this is called the star house also known as quana parker's residence. Who was he? He was the last war chief of the Comanche tribe. He was the last guy to give up. 
and go to a reservation. He was the one who was fighting the longest. He's also the only one who has ever claimed full chief status of the Comanche Nation. Since he passed away, they abolished that title. After he went into the reservation, because he was an amazing leader and a super smart guy, he also became really good at business. But his downfall was he loved people too much, he cared about his tribe so much, he gave away all of his money to them and he ended up not having very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, what are you going to do with it if you're on your way out? What are you going to do with all that stuff? You might as well give it to somebody who can use it. I mean... This artist talks about how he had to sacrifice his own brother. For him to, you know, go unexpectedly and then I go number one and then I take off after that. Like, I know I took it's just crazy, you know? And you really lost him the same day you hit number Swear one God, the show? the same time, not the... Nah, nah, it was baby on baby and went like number one. Okay. It was like number seven or something like that. And then uh, I got a phone call. Got a phone, I call him, halfway sleep. He yelled, bro, yeah, bro, he dead, he died. I'm like, what? I set up him, I'm like, what? Same time, Carter, he blowing my phone up. I'm thinking he calling to deliver the same news. I click over, what's up, bro? We number one, nigga. Number one, you did it, you did it. I'm like, damn. I just lost my sister last year from overdose in September, right before the COVID tape. I lost years from overdose from my last album before that. Oh man, every time I put out an album, or every time I'm about to release an album, for some fucking strange reason, you know what I'm saying? I always lose somebody close to me. Pops, it was James, it was my sister. Like, I always lose somebody close to me, so, you know, shit feel like, you know, some crazy shit, like jinx and some shit. And that music industry is not a joke, y'all. It's, it's not a joke. Every human being that you don't know on a personal level is not real. They're all NPCs and you can say whatever you want to them. Watch this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's right though. <laughs> Watch this. Hey, how's it going? Just here to drop off coupons. Perfect. Sweet. Did you hear the big news? What's the news? Danny DeVito got an OnlyFans account. He didn't know. Yeah. That. 20, so much money. $25 a month. I'll tell you right now, it is worth the money. Is it really? Oh, that man is short and thick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good Monday night, huh? It's 11.30 in the morning on a Thursday. I didn't, give him, I didn't even give him coupons. Give him the instruction manual for my vacuum. Every <laughs> See what I mean? America's food is banned in 30 countries. The food is killing people. Oh yeah, it's definitely killing people. If somebody were to buy a bag of Lay's potato chips versus buying it in Europe and look at the ingredients, they're totally different. They will mm -hmm. make the healthier version for another country. There's over 10,000 food chemicals that are allowed in the American population or food system that aren't allowed in other countries. It makes it easier for food companies, gives them longer shelf life because they're putting so many chemicals in. So anytime we lobby for healthier food choices in our school systems, in our neighborhoods, the food industry is going right behind them with no Millions and millions of dollars saying no we can't do that yeah it's true man like look at everything that we have and like i have friends from other countries and you know they have visited all over the world so they like i i know the kinds of things and the ingredients to foods from other countries and stuff and they always say like how do you eat that stuff how do you eat that stuff it's just way too sweet they just taste weird like plastic you know they say stuff like that all the time about things that like you know just you, you just grab when you're grabbing a gatorade and stuff and go into the checkout line and you just want a snack i don't know man like they really poisoning us sure gone are the days of generic education AI will empower personalized learning experiences that adapt to the unique needs, abilities, and interests of each student. In the coming decade, AI will revolutionize how we learn, breaking free from the constraints of a one-size-fits-all approach. Mm -hmm. Tailored learning paths will become the norm, ensuring optimal engagement and success for every student. AI-powered virtual assistants will be invaluable companions, providing instant support, explanations, and problem-solving assistance. The collaboration will know no boundaries as students worldwide connect, collaborate, and explore together through virtual platforms. 
With AI algorithms facilitating group work and fostering a culture of teamwork, the education landscape is set to undergo a profound and exciting evolution. I mean, we've already started using AR, VR, and all that in classrooms. So, I mean, it's already here. The forgotten sounds of ancient languages. Meaning to Tsachi, to Yam Shako, Shakich Pamsak, Yan Yan Awahal. Eos men crocope plus apoke and nu yoshoan ornuit hinatanatu si pohos peru ye de brutuisin he de snevasican. You wait tha neosian sitha nicht become he an huses. Who hit pring dena after bear thea ye boon hafton. Fan tha ther inna athalinga ye drikt swefan after symbol. Mm. Interesting. Those were all like from different movies and stuff, so. Yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ooskash Goosmash. You gave me the Ooskash Moaf. The Smoosmash. Diddy. Say what now, dog? What did you just say? Um, what? I can put in the maximum amount of effort. I can use all my heart and my soul, you know, in my writing. But at the end of the day, I am being guided by some other power. I don't know what it is, but somebody likes me somewhere. So everybody know Drake, another artist who done came out the closet, to let us know he's not on the big stage because he's so gifted. He's not on the big stage because he's so talented. But he's only, and I say only, on the big stage like many other artists because another power is guiding his career. Now let's see what that power is. Ephesians 2, 2. And what you once walked, you were following the ways of this world, influenced by this present age, and according with the prince of the power of the air, Satan, the spirit who is now at work in the disobedient, the unbelieving, who fight against the purpose of God. Amen. So Drake said it's not about his talent, not about his guilt, but another power is guiding him. And Ephesians 2.2 2 said that power is Satan. So this explains why Drake got his nails painted pink because another power, Ephesians 2.2 2 says Satan is guiding his career to push an evil, hidden agenda on our kids. Come out of darkness, people. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not just Drake, it's pretty much all of them. Is that the beef jerky, Sasquatch? That's the beef jerky, Sasquatch. It's gotta be. A lobotomy left this young woman permanently disabled and institutionalized for the rest of her life. Rosemary Kennedy is often described as the hidden or forgotten Kennedy. As the oldest daughter of the family, Rosemary was a healthy and happy baby. But as she grew up and her younger siblings passed her by in academia, people started to notice that she wasn't like the rest of them. By the time she reached her teenage years, she sat at a fourth grade level, her parents enrolling her from one boarding school to another. Growing frustrated, Rosemary started noticing the disadvantages she had compared to her siblings, which often led her to sneaking out out to get some sense of freedom. At the age of 23, her father decided a lobotomy was her best option to be able to live a better life. So in November of 1941, Rosemary, once a girl who knew how to walk, talk, and dance, was stripped of all that. The procedure left her physically disabled and she was permanently institutionalized. Mm -mm -mm. That's a lot. <laughs> That's pretty messed up. Do you guys see what I see? Hmm? Huh?
do you guys see what I see? I pointed this out before. These are cloud making machines. Cloud making machines, y'all. Look at it. Mm. Yeah, man. It's it's great that people started noticing, but like they've been doing this for years, y'all. They've been doing this for years in lots of locations. Olha o tamanho desse, puta que pariu! Oh my god, eu vou tirar! Oh, oh, oh. Cara, quase matou! Gente do céu! Yo, that is so dangerous, what? in the world and that person was literally like maybe a foot away <laughs> That's wild. Mm, that's crazy. That's a lot of people just lined up waiting. What to mention is something called a tesseract. Mm -hmm. And if you go into the ancient text, it's Metatron's Q. Meta, M-E-T-A, Meta. Mm -hmm. Meta. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, Meta. Metaverse, right? They got that from Metatron's Q. Uh, it's a fourth dimensional substructure. Now, this fourth dimension is really something called a quasi crystal. And this quasi crystal in the fourth dimension, it casts a shadow. And the shadow that it casts, it creates the realm that we're living in here. We're living in a shadow of a higher dimension. That shadow creates a third dimension. It actually creates a fractal of it, creates this fractal holographic matrix that we're actually maneuvering in in the third dimension right now. You can address a fourth dimension of time, like Albert Einstein was saying, if you're just looking at a third plus a fourth thing, the arrow. Mm -hmm. But when you actually move up into another dimension, we now know, now know in quantum physics that there is actually a fourth dimension. So all dimensions are in 90 degree angles of each other. Mm -hmm. And according to uh, quantum theory right now, we're really anticipating that there's at least 11 dimensions, but otherwise the universe will collapse. So there really is truly a fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, all the way up. Not just the arrow of time, that's just something extra. They try to make it make sense back then by saying the fourth dimension is time, but time is actually not a dimension at all. Mm. No. <clears throat> 
time is not a dimension time is a concept that is made to trap us within the boundaries of the fourth and third dimension video no way that was kind of cool i guess i don't know all social media will be banned in florida for anybody under the age of 16 and the internet is excited about this they love this they want this except for the 16 year olds because they don't want this they love social media but literally all over these comments even this smart move for the sake of the youth Everybody agrees that social media should not be for kids. They should be learning social interactions like this. However, a lot of kids and increasingly more kids need this to communicate. One of my so, dear friends on yeah. here, Kevin G, who did get kicked off of TikTok, but he's back. This is his only outlet to the world is social media. Now, should he be kicked off of social media? Well, in Florida, he would be. And they do make some good points. Would this cut out all the prank nonsense that's going on with Kid that eventually lead to this? This is Jack DeHerdy, and he started by doing pranks and then moved his way into uh, managing spicy site people. He went from living with his rich family to making a little bit of money by pranking people that didn't even know that they were being pranked. And then he started, you know, managing spicy site people and taking a lot of their spicy site money. like a lot and now he's uh, he's he's rich but what do you guys think about this florida law banning children underneath the age of 16 from getting on any social media any see like i think it's actually kind of a good thing um but there actually should be some exceptions uh because there are a lot of uh younger children and uh children in teenagers who have uh, social disabilities um, they have just a lot of problems being able to communicate with others without being behind a keyboard um, which isn't good on its own but at the same time like there needs to be exceptions for people like that and uh yeah, because it, it, it's, it's not good to take it away from everyone. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't like not seeing like that while I'm driving, but it is really cool looking. Dog, can you please for a minute? Come. Stop. There's something. There's no fucking way, dude. Dogs, 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 dogs. Woo. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Right there. Right there, right there, right there. What the fuck? No. 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 Something moving. Dog, can you please for a minute? Come. Stop. There's something. There's no fucking way, dude. Dog, stop, 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 stop. Woo. Yeah. What the fuck? 
Yeah, no, that's pretty scary. That's obviously a person that's following you or watching you from the distance. But why? Um, pretty crazy. Yeah, it's tough being a white man these days. It's tough, I tell you. Folks, I'm so white. During the riots, I went out and bought a television. <gasps> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So Chile suffered from a wildfire a couple of days ago, right? Everyone technically lost their homes, cars, everything. But somebody took a video that was very questionable. And I'm going to play it right now. And you guys let me know what you think about this. ¿Será verdad la teoría de la Casa Azul? Now, look, I'm not one to believe in coincidences, right? I believe everything happens by design. How many coincidences until it's mathematically impossible? Do you get what I'm saying? So I don't know, guys. Like, this is a very interesting uh, occurrence. The house was barely touched, okay? Everything around it demolished, burned to ashes. But somehow it managed to stand still. Now, I'm sure some of you remember this video, right? I'm not going to go into it too much. It's pretty self-explanatory. But I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think about this because I don't know how many people seen that video, but yeah, that, that, that's a strange coincidence if you know what I'm saying. So let me know what you guys think about this because yeah, I need to hear some opinions and all I can think of is, uh, blew his house with the blue little window and a blue Corvette and everything, you know, that's, that's all I can think about. Yeah, that's from that uh, that wildfire that happened. I literally think that somebody said that. Like, I can't. Like, this is just my my thoughts for entertainment purposes only. Listen, in those Vatican art, five miles of underground Vatican archives. Right, that's a lot. <laughs> There's been a few people that have come out talking who have had access to these Vatican archives. They can't say specifically everything they saw, but one guy did come on a documentary on History Channel years ago and talked about the fact that they had bones of beings that weren't human. From their perspective, they weren't human bodies. They had books and texts down there that nobody's ever been able to read or access that talk about technology, flying devices, and all these other incredible things that were hidden during the um, Inquisitions. Because during the Inquisitions, they were suppressing technology heavy because they wanted to keep their boot on the necks of the people. The Inquisition was so brutal, they killed over 80 million people over the course of 700 years, ordered underneath the popes. That really held us back because we should have been on the moon in the 1800s if it wasn't for the Inquisitions. That mm. alone held us back from, from technological advancement. Mm. That's interesting to think about because, like, I mean, it would make sense. It would make sense, though. Like when you really think about it. Sab kuch ban hone ja raha hai. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok aur X. Yani Pakistan mein tamam social media apps ban hone ja rahi hain. Is waqt Pakistan mein aisi khabrein trending par hain. To aakhir iske piche haqeeqat kya hai? People's Party ke ek senator hain Bairaman Tangi. Inki janib se Pakistan mein social media platforms par pabandi aid karne ki qaraardad Senate mein jama kara di gayi hai. Jise 4 March yani aaj ke ijlas ke ejenda mein bhi shamil kar liya gaya hai. Is qaraardad mein mauqif apnaya gaya ke Pakistan ki naujawan nasal par social media platforms jaise Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube aur X ki wajah se intahai manfi asrat murattab ho rahe hain isliye in tamam social media apps ko Pakistan mein band kiya jaye is qaraardad mein mazid mauqif apnaya gaya hai ke tamam social media apps hamare mazhab aur saqafat ke khilaf istemal hone ke sath sath in apps ko pak fauj ke khilaf bhi istemal kiya ja raha hai senator Bairaman Tangi wo senator hain jinhe ek maah pehle hi people's party ne khud se alag kar diya hai aur people's party ka mauqif hai ke ye qaraardad sirf is senator ki janib se jama karai ja rahi hai aur 
Yeah, so uh, apparently Pakistan is banning social media as well. And there's quite a few other countries that are going and working on ways to ban social media uh, just for the fact that their argument is it's ruining the next generations and the new generations and it's destroying people's beliefs and it's adversely affecting the youth. So it's a worldwide thing. A few of those were pretty cool. Um, there was quite a few of them that were obviously drones and self-made like drone jetpack type deals. But some of those were really cool, man. Can't explain them. Anyways, that's all we got for today. That's another video we can drop in the archive. Thank all of you for hanging out. I'm glad that every one of you come through every time and chat me up during these lives. And, uh, you know, it, it means a lot. You know, I, I appreciate it. We're growing. We're growing. It's slow, but we're growing, guys. And uh, I think we're going to think we're going to stick around even when, you know, TikTok gets banned. It's not like I'm going to go anywhere. It's still going to be able to source material, still going to be able to find everything we need, still going to be on all the Reddits and all the other places to find all the coolest clips from around the world but like i was saying i appreciate every last one of you for coming through every time that i post one of these videos or go live and uh, i hope that all of you are doing great i hope that all of you have a fantastic rest of your day evening afternoon morning whatever it might be for you and uh until next time peace